for this afternoon, after I get off this, I, I have an hour long session with a guy who's a reverse mortgage expert. And so some of it is to build content and some of it is to build relationships. Hello and welcome to another episode of Mortgage Influencers, where we bring you professionals who share insight into the latest trends, tips, industry technology, and services to help you be a mortgage influencer in your mortgage business. Okay, and we want to welcome you. I think we are live now, just about. Uh, <laughs> welcome you to another episode of our Mortgage Influencers. My name is Ginger Bell, and I have our hosts, Scott Shang and Carl White, and a special guest today, Dave Steinberg. So welcome, everyone, and happy Wednesday. Happy hump day, as they say. Happy hump day, <laughs> yes. Very good. Who, who was the the camel? Who what was what was he advertising when when they were doing that? Remember Hump Day, Hump Day, Hump Day. It was a camel. I all I can think is is Joe Camel cigarette. That's all I can I don't think, think of. That's too. Mike, 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 Mike. It's Hump Day. Oh, maybe it's just me. Okay, no, 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 no. There you was. Might, you there might was be a lot older I, I don't than remember. the rest of us. So here's the thing. No, I remember that. So and, and thinking about advertising, you know, the things you're doing, it's one thing to remember it, but to put that hook together is important, mm, right? There you so, go. Oh, they missed that one. So we'll have to I have remember that. I remember watching uh, a report, a study on the Energizer Bunny. And just as many people thought it was the major competitor as the actual battery, the the, the one that had the bunny. So in other words, they them and their competitor got an equal bump from the <laughs> Energizer bunny. So I thought that was, uh, wow. I, mean, I think it was Ever Ready. Ever Ready got an equal bump to the Energizer bunny, even though it was two competing companies. So isn't that funny? That is funny. Well, and honestly, a very good segue as far nice. as what we're I talking about. I knew that. That's why today. I said that. You that's, did that's, that. You set that up so well. I, love I had that. that. Oh, Colonel out of the hand. Um, so... Talking about just connections, and and we're going to talk about intentional connections, and uh, that's why we've invited Dave on. And so Dave Steinberg is a mortgage broker uh, with his company Summit Funding out of New York, and Dave decided probably what about six months ago, four or five months ago, that you wanted to start doing podcasts, right? Yeah, it's been percolating for a year, and um, I I kept on saying I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, and finally I just got, I just picked a guest and invited them on, on a Zoom and you helped me understand the process. And, um, and now we're doing, this week it'll be three. And, uh, you know, I'm off next week and then doing two, three, four a week and, until we get enough content banked so that we can launch. Yeah, so, so the first thing is, if you're watching this and are listening to it and thinking, hey, should I do a podcast? What would you advise them with, Dave? Start with your end in mind. Okay. So I, I decided that I want to do a podcast because I wanted to network with cool people. So for example, I don't know Carl for Madam, but if I called Carl up and said, hey, Carl, give me an hour. I'm hurt. Time. I'm hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hurt. Yeah. But if I called Carl up, he doesn't know me. I don't know him. And say, hey, Carl, give me an hour of your time. He would laugh at me. Right. But if I said, Carl, I'm doing a podcast and I'm getting some of the smartest guys I know on the podcast. And would you be willing to join me? I'm one of those smartest guys that he knows. Is it? <laughs> no, really, that's that's the conversation that happens in, in that person's head. Right. Yeah. Yep. And um, and then and so there's an intentionality here um, and, and it's it's really a lot of fun because I'm having some some great times talking to people. <laughs> and I'm, I'm splitting it. So, for example, about half of my Zooms are with um, realtors and and obviously that there's an intentionality there. Right. And then I'm also, I had a home inspector, property insurance guy, um, 
for this afternoon, after I get off this, I, I have an hour long session with a guy who's a reverse mortgage expert. And so some of it is to build content and some of it is to build relationships. Mm -hmm. And, um, in, you know, the, I've had two top realtors, in fact, both this week, one is repeat, and the, they're so tickled because they haven't yet learned how to do video. And so I'm pulling them in, I'm offering them an avenue to do video. Um, and one of them has gone from an acquaintance in September to a um, first video where we had, we boosted it, as you said, we got 18,000 views on the Facebook. And when she saw that, she became a Raven fan. So now after recording it, one of the things that happened was that she said to me, hey, you know, I've got some people who, who need to have their um, prequels refreshed. Why don't I send them to you? I uh, don't do that. It's it's. I don't want that. I'm busy. I never said. I'm busy. <laughs> said yeah. No loan officer ever. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And I want to take a minute and mo met and uh, mention Frank has joined joined us and entered the room. So hello, Frank. <laughs> As you were. As yeah. you were, everyone. So, so Frank, we're talking about podcasting, and and Dave's doing a podcast, and so every single one of us on this call. Uh, or at least the panelists here, we all do podcasts. Uh, I'm curious, Dave. How 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 uh, how often do you uh, do you put yours out, and how much time per week do you personally invest in in your podcast? So um, my my basic office is in my basement in Queens, in Flushing, Queens. I that's where I work four days a week, and generally one day a week. Today I'm making an exception. Because for this podcast, but generally one day a week, I come out to my Jersey office where I have where I have the quiet set up and I I I do I, I schedule Zooms. My objective long term is to do one a week. But right now I'm trying to build uh, content, I'm build, trying to build a library. So I did two yesterday um, and one today after this. My structure is really simple and and, and I think this has been um, critical in terms of my being able to do it. Um, the first 10 minutes I schedule, so I schedule an hour block, the first 10 minutes is scheduled to talk about what we're going to talk about. So I say, okay, you know, hey, Frank, I don't know much about your business. What do you want to talk about? What do, what do you want to share? And is this before you hit the record button, Dave? This is before we hit the record button. Okay. So we set it up. We have and then I have some stock questions that I'll that I'll answer, that I'll ask for fun. So, um, hey, hey, Paul, what's your superpower? Mm. And I'll, and most people, instead of nodding, would actually give me an answer because they because they. they get <laughs> It's such a long list. I didn't yeah, want to. I was, was going to say, what's not um, Carl's superpower? That's, yeah, that's a tough or, one. You know, the other question that's a lot of fun to use. Hey, Scott, you know, if, if you would, can I ask you, what's your passion? What are you passionate about? Man, that's pretty general. <laughs> but it gets them talking, right? Yeah. And, everybody's and, and, passionate and, about something. And they open up. They so, just open up because... Let me you know, ask you this, David, or Dave, if they, if like, how much personal, like, are you able to have, so like, if I say my passion is tulips, I love growing tulips. Like, do you get those kind of answers? Do you, do you, do you try to make that kind of connection? You know, Scott, you, you, you got to be the to... only person on earth whose passion would be tulips. You I know? just made that up. I don't, I don't have any <laughs> Especially tulips. in Colorado. But it's <laughs> <still Yeah. outside. laughs> I might get crocuses. That in the says spring. a lot about Scott right there. Okay. Well, that's what they call it in Colorado. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to well, stop the and word. smell that's the, the code <laughs> word, huh? <laughs> you got to stop and smell it. Boy, you guys are so bad. Yeah. You got to um, stop and so, smell the roses. People. It's hump day. What do you expect? I mean, come on. <laughs> how, how long is each episode? Uh, we, we generally record 40 minutes. Okay. The objective is to take, to do a 25 minute YouTube 
Uh, some are going to be 35, 45 minutes, and some are going to be shorter. And then to get two, three, four, um, let's say, Facebook uh, posts out of it. Yeah, we call them drop the mic moments. So it's those, you know, things that you can use. And that's part of the library, too, and building that up. And and not just for you, for you, Dave, but then also those are things that you can share onto social and tag who you're with. And so I want to talk about that and go back to the realtor. So the real estate agent that you had on, and she was nervous about doing video. And so a lot of these people, they're very nervous about doing it. And, and Dave's been doing it long enough now. He's a good coach. Um, and he, you know, spends time with them. He sets the zoom up. Um, but for her, you know, you went through, did the, the video and then when we posted it, you boosted it. And so I know you use ad traffic, which Frank, you, uh, had, uh, introduced that. I know you talk about, uh, that a lot on the loan officer breakfast club, because, um, Bill Halstead is brilliant in what he did with it, but you boost those. And so you did that for her and you said you had 18,000 views. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Which she probably had never seen anything like that before. Right. She, she was just totally blown away. And, um, and, and, and so she's all excited. In fact, she and I are working on it and she'll be, she'll probably come on board with you in March. Oh, she'll take cool. February off and she'll come on board with you in March. So, but we're having a great conversation. We're building a relationship. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, and the other thing is that the number of different people, because, because when you give, you receive, right? When you give, you receive. So um, most of the people I'm putting on the program end up saying nice things about me. Now, there aren't many people on the planet who say nice things about me. <laughs> but here, I'm getting uh, a couple of them have been past clients. They've, they've made comments about how, how great my service is. But even the people who I have not worked with feel compelled to, to endorse me. So I now have an, a, a, not an implied, but an you start out with an implied endorsement. Right, because if you know if if Scott, if you or I on a, a Zoom together and a, a Facebook post together, there's an implied endorsement that you're saying that you're you're a uh, you're a fan of mine. But now you might actually take the next step and say you really need to work with Dave. And now I have another endorsement that I can add to a library of endorsements. You you know another thing that I've that I've found you know, you can tell the people that you're interviewing that third party endorsement is kind of important too. So it's like somebody recognized my talent and they're bragging about my talent. So there's that third party endorsement of they're not talking about how great they are. You're telling them how great they are, or you're exploring how great they are. Yeah. There's, there's, I mean, it's super, super powerful. There's a reason why everybody knows Barbara Walters' name. <laughs> yeah, right? by just doing the interviews and doing that's, that, you know, here's what I'm thinking, Oprah. Carl. Oprah. Yeah, that's yeah. what she did. Yeah, that's yeah. what she started. So here's what I'm thinking. And Carl, you do such a great job in mortgage marketing animals teaching um, the daily success plan. And so, you know, putting putting something like a podcast into those Monday Thor's hammers calls where, mm. you know, you're picking up the mm. phone and, and making that connection, but also inviting them to, to come on to your podcast. And you know, for me, the, the podcast has, man, I've done a lot of things and a lot of things have worked really well. And, and almost everything works at some degree if you keep doing it. But I tell you, the podcast very rapidly moves the needle, you know, and for almost as far as dollars out, I, I, almost nothing. I mean, like it, it, it doesn't cost that much, you know, to get a to get a podcast up and going no. uh, to, for me. And I think I've shared this with you before, uh, Ginger. Uh, I used to do a Saturday morning radio show at a local radio station here. I don't remember. I think it was either. 5,000 a month, maybe it was 10,000 a month, something like that, that we paid the radio station. 
steps as far as, you know, what David's talking about is making that relationship with the agent just by, hell, it doesn't matter if anybody's listening to the podcast or not, just the relationship alone of the person that I'm interviewing, I'm making them feel special. Um, you know, they're, they're a guest on my podcast and they're, you know, they, they, I mean, if you listen to them, they think they're on the tonight show or something, you know, and, uh, just that piece alone has really done me really, really, really well. Right. And, and asking, you know, like when I ask them questions, you know, basically we're, we're lobbing, you know, a cantaloupe for them to knock out of the park. Uh, you know, so yeah. it's, it's been, it's been very good for me and yeah. you're right. Treating it as, as part of your, uh, weekly routine of this is how I reach out to some of my, especially the top producing agents. And man, you, you know, there's something, there's something about like, like Dave, if I sent you a, I don't know, a box of chocolates in the mail, you know, almost certainly you're either going to send me something back. You're going to write me a nice letter. Like, like we all want to reciprocate when somebody gives you something, it's just human instinct to want to reciprocate. So when we, when we, when we bring this gift of being a guest on our podcast to the agent, they want to reciprocate. How do they do that? By referrals. So good for you, Dave. Yeah. And one of the things that you have fun with, because most of the people I'm inviting are very good realtors. Yeah. Right. And where else is it true that you're going to pay the same amount for a service with a newbie who doesn't know how to tie his shoes mm-hmm. with a top realtor, right? It's, it, and, and so I try to make that point when I'm on the video with him. I say, you could be working, yesterday's guy was uh, Scott, so not you. And I wouldn't say anything nice about Scott, but, but you could be working with a guy like Scott who has 28 years of experience as a CRS, or you pay the exact same thing with an inexperienced newbie agent, wouldn't you rather be working with Scott? Yeah. And I say that right out and as often as I can. Mm-hmm. So now I'm, again, I'm, I'm stroking that person's ego, building yeah. the relationship deeper. And keep in mind, you know, it's not like you're blowing, as we say in the South, smoke up somebody's skirt. Scott is a top agent. You're interviewing him or, or her. And, when, and, yeah. and when you say she's amazing, she is right. She's one of the top agents. So it's and and I find that they do have a lot to say. They tend to be uh, really good on on communication because that's how they got to be a top salesperson, right? If they're if they're if you're having to pull information from them, it's likely they're not a top agent to begin with. Well, and you're tapping into something really really important, especially in this market where there's just a lot less activity in this market. So everybody is looking for something that Mm -hmm. makes them feel like they're contributing Mm. to activities that are going to result in business. So you bringing this to them, now she's kind of thinking about, wow, I can do video and I can do this. And it's sort of distracting her from the fact that they're not selling in her neighborhood right now you know, for whatever reason, rates or inventory or whatever. So you're bringing something and you're building a relationship that's not, and this is, this has always been my goal is you, you have to build a relationship on something that's not transactional because if it's transactional, you're only as good as your last loan. Mm -hmm. And if the underwriter screwed it up or whatever, but if there's something that gets messed up, you know, they're going to be like, they're going to have the patience to, to, they're going to trust you when you say that was a one-off, I'm going to take care of it. You're building a deeper relationship. And, and that's the single most important, listen, we want as much business as we can, but this is a great market for adding value and building relationships. Yeah. And that's it. And it's, and like Carl said, it's, it's darn near free. It doesn't cost a lot. Hey, Dave, I got a, I got a question. So at the end of your podcast, do you always have a call to action? And what does that look mm. like? Great question. I have not yet finished this. I'm, I'm new to this. So what I'm trying to do, <laughs> yeah, what I'm, what I'm trying to do Get up closer to, to, the camera. Really to the person who I'm interviewing, but um, gee, you know, Ginger, we got to schedule some time. Yeah. <laughs> so, so here's the thing. And, and I think and we've had this discussion many times um, before and, and bringing that to point. 
doing that call to action, you can you can make it to where it is a call to action that's not an in your face call to action. And I think mm -hmm. that's blending it. Um, you know, I was having a conversation with someone yesterday. They were their number four in the state of Texas on fundings last year for Homes to Heroes. And so we were talking about that and I, I had talked to her about she's starting a podcast and I could call it, I said, we can call it the Heroes Podcast. And so she says, but I, I don't want to just, you know, focus on the heroes and how do I bring in my business to it and all that. And I said, you do that in a call to action at the end and you do it in the way that it can support what you're doing, but then also let people know, because people want to know, how do I reach you? And yeah. so Carl, you're so great. You, you want to you hear you yeah, hear that's what, do, do what so let me let me tell you a sneaky trick. So this is a this is a by the way, my sneaky tricks are always ethical and moral. So just <laughs> FYI, right? Just They're not sneaky. that sneaky. They're not that <laughs> sneaky. But here's what here. Let me tell you what I do. And I do this 100 percent of the time. So let's say, Dave, I'm, I'm doing an interview with you and I finish interviewing you and I go, all right, Dave. Hey, man, thanks so much. We appreciate it. Great content. And uh, thank, thanks for being on the podcast. And then I pause the recorder. Hey, Dave, man, dude, that was spot on. Awesome. Thank you so much, brother. And uh, man, I, uh, man, I'd love to work with you. You seem like an awesome guy. Uh, just want to know, can I, can I count on you for that next buyer lead, brother? I'd, I'd really like to work with you, right? And you're always going to say yes, right? And then you sign off the podcast. And then now that you're off, I do another closing. All right, great stuff. And you're gone, right? Turn the recorder back on. Now I'm talking to the podcast audience. All right, great stuff, Dave. Hey, thanks so much for being here. Hey, uh, just real quick uh, for our listeners on the podcast, uh, anytime you're looking to buy, sell, or refinance, that's what I do over here. My name is Carl White. I'm with, I'm just reading your thing in the back. I'm with Summit Funding and uh, would love to help you and your family. So you can reach me at insert in website, phone number, and we'll talk to you when you call in and we'll see you on the next episode of davesagreatguy.com. And so- I always felt it a little weird, like if I'm interviewing you and then I throw in my ad at the end while you're listening. It, I don't know. It never felt right somehow or another. And so I wait till you sign off and then I turn the recorder back on and I get my actual, mm -hmm. like literally 15 second call to action. Yeah. Or we could even do that. You know, it's like, Dave, you could record a few of those and then we Ooh. can edit those in on the end. Record it. Where, you know, it's Great. like. Hey, Dave, I got a better idea. Why don't you record it one time? You know, it's just like the call to actions for the pre-made videos. But what a you great set it up idea, like it's a podcast. And so just record some of those today and I'll have Aaron put those in. Boy, and you guys, that's schmuck. why we do this. So, you know. That's why we pay Ginger the big bucks. Damn, well, that is a no, that's why, that's why we're a community that all comes together because Frank teed that up. Hey, do you do a call to action? And Carl came in with, this is what I do. Isn't and she like, gracious? Hey, Isn't is she gracious? You. But I mean, it's like, that's how Instead we of saying, you four schmucks. Here, let me show you how it's done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. That's a brilliant so, idea. I'll get aside, Ginger. That's a brilliant idea. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's the thing too, you know, and you're thinking about, so I'm going to pull in some, just some, some top, you know, tips as far as doing the podcast, because we started doing this for, and Dave was the first one. Dave has always pushed me. It's like, well, how about if we do this? Like, okay, let's figure it out. And so um, <clears throat> if you're starting your podcast, the first thing is I recommend limiting it to 20 to 30 minutes tops um, because any longer than that, um, you lose people. And so 20 minutes kind of seems the sweet spot. We always go to 30 just because, you know, we, we talk a lot. Um, and then have a list of questions. You know, Carl, I think a couple of weeks ago, we did talking about podcasts yep. and uh, you had shared um, your- Well, you've got, you got a list. So if anybody I, wants that list of questions- I just have that Ginger. list. Yeah. yeah. And, and we have a list that we use when we do a lot of video production. So if you want to get that list, email me at ginger and edumarketing.com. We'll make that available. Um, but the other thing I want to do um, and I'm, we're going to close out with this in a little bit, um, is I really want to thank um, all of you for being on here. So we, uh, I started the Facebook group, um, gosh, almost two years ago. 
and contacted Carl and, and said, hey, you know, I think we need to start some discussion talking about, you know, videos. Do you want to hop on a weekly call? And he said, absolutely, I'm in. And same with Scott. And then um, Frank said, hey, I want to play. And, and, uh, and, you know, we're gracious to, we're thankful to have um, guests like you, Dave, who share that expertise. And so with all of that in mind, I first of all want to thank all of you. Um, for your time and uh, your expertise that you're sharing because um, it, it's very valuable. And also to let you know, um, we started out doing videos. We started on a Facebook page and we now have a website. We've changed it to Mortgage Influencers. So if you're listening to this, you can go to Mortgage Influencers and we have it on audio now. So we've turned ours into the videos we're doing. We've turned it into an audio podcast. And then we also have a sponsors page. And so we've got um, Carl, Mortgage Marketing Animals. We've got Frank with your um, Loan Officer Breakfast Club and Scott with Find My Way Home and mine with Edge of Marketing. And so that's, you know, pulling everything together. And so first and foremost, thank you, um, all of you for saying I'm in. Um, and then the uh, second I just want to say I thought we were getting paid. We're oh, not. Yeah. <laughs> Have you was seen that... a paycheck? <laughs> I was wonder. Okay. There goes oh, Frank. So that was that. I, 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 I so it's a pro bono thing. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's a pro bono thing. All right. All right. So All right. I think I think the key takeaway, um, you know, is that it. This is so easy. Yeah, it's easy if you this work so together. Easy. You know, it's so easy. Right now we're all on Zoom, right, and everyone's using Zoom, so it's not like. You know, it's not like you have to invent the video studio. It's not like you, you, you can just do this in, in baby steps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it, you're used to having a Zoom anyway. So call one person that you'd like to be on a Zoom with, hit the record button, and boom, you have, if not a podcast, you have a video. And for anyone who's struggling, because that's what this is about, if, if you're struggling making a video, just call someone, call your best friend and say, I need you on a, on a video on a Zoom for an hour and have a conversation. Yeah, click, click, do a Zoom, click record, send it to Ginger, you got a podcast. Yeah, and it, you know, and it, it, it also reminds me of anytime something new comes out, it's clunky, it's expensive. You've got to have thought leaders going in there. It's like the you know, $25,000 flat screen TV 10 years ago, you can mm -hmm. buy it for $149 at Walmart today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's like, it's, it's so advanced. The technology has become so much easier. You have communities like what we've built here of just people talking and sharing what we're doing and, uh, and, and sharing all the best and the easiest ideas. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Did I, <laughs> did I do a, uh, was that the three stooges gentlemen and you look around to find out where the gentlemen are <laughs> no i was just watching frank get you know, it he just uh, you know what i'm it's my clock is up there and i'm just making okay what time is it where am i at oh, you know, is that oh, what picking you on me whatever <laughs> whatever so Carl White. we need you a new clock huh <laughs> <laughs> i'll have to move my clock down to, and it, it hey, Ginger, literally for, it's on for, my computer right in front of me but i look at the big clock on the yeah <laughs> hey ginger thanks okay. for putting all this together you you uh it's, it's an honor to be playing in your sandbox we appreciate everything you do and uh and uh, thanks for introducing us to great people like dave yeah well thank yep. you and dave thank you so much for being on here we'll have you on again keep making those videos now you need to make a call to action video so you'll have to do that when you're off the call. And so for those of you that join with us weekly, we have a special guest. Frank, you cannot miss next week because Why? it is Christine Beckwith. I oh, cool. Christine. Me too. Christine's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Christine is a super nice person. Yeah, she yeah. Really is. so Christine's going to be joining us. So uh, and if you can catch her, if you can catch her sober, she's absolutely. <laughs> have, no. no. <laughs> That was a joke. I wish I had my you know, sound she effects. Would so she would so appreciate that. <laughs> boom, boom. She, actually, yeah. she would appreciate that. She would I love Christine. That. Very, very, very smart person. Love, love masterminding with her. Okay. There's one of those drop the mic moments that will be yeah. said to her. She's a brilliant lady, really. Yeah, very good. Okay, guys, have a great day. And uh, we'll see Everybody. you all next week. And go make a video. Adios, my friends. See you.